Hi guys, today I'm gonna to take you through a follow along routine that focuses on shoulder mobility, specifically in the overhead position. So for this, you're going to need uh, two yoga blocks, ideally, uh, a PVC pipe or some sort of pole, and a bench. So for the first exercise, we're just gonna warm the shoulders up. And to do this, we're gonna do shoulder cars. And we're gonna do both arms at the same time. What I want you to do is create a fist, start with your arms down by your side, shoulders down, arms nice and straight, create a lot of tension throughout your body. And then we're just gonna come up into shoulder flexion, all the way up into the over overhead position. Once we reach the top, you reach your ears, you're gonna start rotating outwards, okay? and bringing the arms back behind you. So we're internally rotating. We're going all the way around into shoulder extension. And then we're gonna come back down to the start position and we're gonna go into reverse. So we're gonna push into shoulder extension, start externally rotating the shoulders, bringing that bicep up towards the ears, back into shoulder flexion, and then back down again into the start position. We're gonna go for another three reps so you can just follow along in real time. Okay, so we're starting to feel those shoulder muscles working now. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna use our bench. We're gonna do a dynamic stretch, just taking ourselves into shoulder flexion, so that overhead position. So what I want you to do is just kneel down in front of your bench with your arms nice and straight, and then keep your core engaged here. We don't want too much bending in the spine. We're just gonna push down into shoulder flexion so you can feel that stretch all on this side of the body here. The lats are stretching out, and just exhale and push yourself nice and deep into that stretch. And then we're gonna push into the bench, engage in the lats, and bring ourselves up. Okay, you don't have to come all the way up, just come up and then back down into that stretch. And we're gonna go for 12 reps. Next, we're gonna do a very similar stretch. So again, work in that overhead position, but this time we're gonna use a PVC pipe and we're gonna use a PVC pipe to take us into shoulder external rotation slightly, okay? So it's just gonna be a little bit of a more intense version of what we've just done. So we're just gonna put our elbows on the bench this time, exact same setup with the knees. I want your elbows quite close together, but enough room for your head to go through. And then with a nice 90 degree angle, so bend in the elbows, I want you to hold onto the PVC pipe. Ideally, you wanna be uh, just a little bit wider than elbow position with your hand grip, okay? So get the hands just a little bit farther out than where the elbows are on the bench. From here, again, keeping that core engaged, that spine nice and straight. We're just gonna push down into this until we feel that stretch. And we're gonna go for 12 reps.
Okay, so we've done the cars routine, we've done the dynamic stretches. We're now gonna do a little bit of strength work. So we're actually gonna go, we're gonna start off with a passive stretch for shoulder flexion, and then we're gonna do some isometrics to start strengthening the joint on both sides, okay? So for this, what we're gonna do is just gonna place our hands on the bench, okay? And exactly the same as before, this time you're gonna go down into that stretch that we were just in, okay? Keeping your core engaged. I don't want you to move your, uh, your spine too much. Go down until you feel that stretch. Okay, and once you feel that stretch and you're at your end range, we're just gonna hold this position. So I want you to go ahead and pause the video for two minutes. Once the two minutes is up, come back and we're gonna move on to the isometrics. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna start by driving our hands down into the bench. And we're gonna do this as hard as we can. And we're gonna do it for 10 seconds. So now I'm driving my hands down into the bench. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Followed immediately by trying to lift my arms up off of the bench. You're gonna notice that they're not actually gonna lift up, but I'm trying, I'm engaging the muscles on the top of my shoulders for 10 seconds. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Again, pushing down into the bench. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulling away from the bench for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last two, pushing down into the bench. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one and pulling away from the bench. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then relax, pause your video and hold this position for another 30 seconds. So when you're doing those contractions, when you're pushing down into the bench, imagine you're engaging your lats, you're feeling the muscles engaging on this side, okay, as you push down into the bench. When you're pulling away, you should feel the opposite side. So you should feel all the, of those muscles on the top of your shoulder burning up, uh, engaging, contracting, as you're pulling away from the bench, pulling yourself deeper into shoulder flexion. So now we are moving on to working shoulder external rotation. To do this, we're gonna need two yoga blocks. Okay, we're gonna place the yoga blocks down on the ground and we're gonna go into a stretch and we're gonna hold it for two minutes. So I'm gonna show you what the stretch position looks like. You're gonna lie down on your belly. Okay, place your hand so you can rest your head on it. From here, what you wanna do is you wanna have your elbow at shoulder height and you want a 90 degree angle in your arm as well, okay? I'm gonna place my hand on the yoga block which is putting me into a external rotation stretch. This for me is pretty good. I can feel the stretch, but if you're restricted, you may need it here. Or if you're super flexible, you may need it a little bit higher. So just make the adjustments that you need. What I'm gonna get you to do now is once you've found that stretch, we're just gonna pause the video for two minutes. Once the two minutes is up, press start. And now we're gonna move on to the isometric contractions. So the first isometric is driving down into the block. I'm gonna do that with a maximum contraction for 10 seconds. So it's gonna look like this. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Followed immediately by trying to pull my hand away from the block, not letting my elbow lift up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we're gonna do another four of those contractions. Just make sure that you're not letting your shoulder shrug up. Keep your shoulder blades down as you're doing this. So 10 seconds pushing down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulling away. 10, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pushing down into the blocks. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then pulling away. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then relax. And we're gonna move over to the other arm now, so the exact same setup, and do the exact same thing. So hand on the block. Again, we need to pause the video and do another two minute hold. Once two minutes is up, press start, and we're gonna get straight into the contractions. So pushing down into the block for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pulling away for 10 seconds. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds pushing into the block. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds pushing away or pulling away. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last two contractions pushing down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And 10 seconds pulling away. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And if you're getting those contractions correctly and you're really contracting those muscles, you're gonna feel them working. You're gonna feel that contraction on the back of your shoulders as you're trying to pull yourself deeper into shoulder external rotation. That's what's gonna be strengthening this position. Next up, we're gonna strengthen that overhead position a little bit more. So we're gonna do some more shoulder flexion focused work. We're gonna need a yoga block again. We're gonna be lying down on the ground in that prone position again. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just gonna start off in a passive stretch. Now we've already spent quite a lot of time in this position, so we don't need to hold it for too long. So we're just gonna go down into this position I'm gonna have your thumbs facing upwards for this. Once you're in this position, what I want you to do is just make sure that you're pushing your shoulder blades up. So we're really kind of shrugging here to open up the, get the scapula raised and open up the shoulders. So I'm in a passive stretch here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a lift off. So I'm gonna lift up and I'm gonna hold it for three seconds. So it's one, two, three, and then back down. Okay, and then I'm gonna lift off again for three seconds. So it's one, two, three. And we're gonna go for five reps, just like that. So I'm gonna do five reps on this side, and we're gonna switch over and do five reps on the other side. On every rep, just count three seconds. switch over we're going to do the other side just notice that I'm actually keeping my core engaged as I'm doing this I'm keeping my hips tucked and I'm not extending through my spine it all needs to come from the shoulder joint so we can really focus on working shoulder flexion so again I'm pushing up so I'm shrugging upwards and then I'm going for my five reps with three second isometrics So the final exercise is swimmer hovers. This is gonna work shoulder flexion, but it's also gonna work all the functions of the shoulder, internal rotation, external rotation, extension. 
This is a really good one for just all round shoulder mobility. So we're gonna do three reps. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start down, start in the prone position, okay? And just as I mentioned in the last exercise, tuck the hips uh, and try not to extend through the spine too much. We're just gonna place our hands on the back of our head here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift those elbows up nice and high, go into shoulder flexion, okay? Keeping them nice and high, don't let them drop down. Keep them nice and high. We're gonna start internally rotating, coming up behind us into shoulder extension. Now from here, this is a difficult part. You wanna try and place the back of your hands as high up your back as you can, okay? Once they're down, the back of the hands are down, we're gonna try and bring our elbows to the floor. So push those scapula uh, or shoulder blades apart Try and get the elbows to the floor. We're gonna go in reverse now. We're gonna pull those shoulder blades together. Lift the elbows up nice and high. Extend the arms. Rotate all the way around, back into shoulder flexion. Bring your hands onto the back of your head, keeping the elbows up, and then place the elbows down on the ground. And that's one rep. And we're gonna go for another two of those. So that is today's follow along routine for shoulder flexion, that overhead position. If you wanna learn more or want a program to follow to start improving overall shoulder health, then check out our shoulder mobility program. We're gonna add a link to the description below. If you like this video, please subscribe and let us know what follow alongs you would like to see in the future.